The M1R and the M1L are two sides of the same coin. They both increase by one stitch. One of them leans right and one of them leans left. I'm gonna show you how to do both of them in this super quick knitorial. So I've knit up a little sample here and I've done an M1R on every right side row on this swatch and you can see that they definitely lean towards the right side. And I've done an M1L on this side, they do lean towards the left. So both M1R and M1L will increase one stitch. The only difference is the direction that they lean towards. So let's get into how to do these increases. All right, so to do an M1R, we are going to take the strand of yarn that runs between our two stitches. So you can see there's this little strand of yarn here, right? So we'll take this strand of yarn and I'm gonna use my right needle to kind of pick it up from the front to the back. And then I'm gonna use my left needle to pick it up again from the back to the front like this, okay? Then I'm going to use my right needle and knit the strand of yarn that I've just picked up and oof, knit into it, cool. And that stitch that I've just knit is my M1R. I've just made a new stitch, all right? And then you can just keep on knitting. Okay, so let's try that again. So let's say I wanna make an M1R right here. So there's a strand of yarn running between them, right? So I'm gonna take my right needle, I lift it up from the front to the back, take my left needle and lift it again from the back to the front. And then I'm going to knit into this strand of yarn. And ta-da! So if you're wondering like, why do I have to do like the lifting of the strand of yarn twice? The answer is that you don't have to. I just tend to do it that way. I find it a little bit easier, but you could also do it this way. You could take your left needle and go into this strand of yarn here, just from the back and then pick it up and then knit into it. You could do it that way. So both methods work. Just try them out and see which one you like best for the M1R. And there's our M1R. So the M1L is pretty similar. We're going to take our right needle, pick up the strand of yarn between the two stitches on either needle, and then I'm gonna use my left needle, go into that strand of yarn from the front to the back. And now I'm gonna take my right needle and knit into that strand of yarn that I picked up from the back. All right, so there we go. And that is an M1L. Okay, let's try that again. Just knit one stitch here, cool. And here's our two stitches on either side of the needle. I'm gonna pick up that strand of yarn between those two stitches. I'll use my left needle to pick up that strand of yarn again, okay? And then I'm going to knit into that strand of yarn from the back. And that's our M1L, our make one towards the left. So here's another way to do the M1L. Use your left needle and pick up that strand of yarn from the front to the back and then knit into that strand of yarn from the back. There's your M1L. All right, let's try that again. Pick up the strand of yarn from the front to the back, then knit into the back of the strand of yarn. Ta-da! Both methods work, so try them out and see which one you like better. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, then give it a big thumbs up. And if you love this video, consider subscribing. I'm Davina from sheepandstitch.com. Happy make oneing, happy making one, happy increasing. There we go. Happy increasing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.